together that makes one big, long, but dark room. Tom, what's keeping you? Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is of course Constantine, and today we're starting a new series playing a new point and click adventure game called The Pillars of the Earth. The game will take us back in the 12th century in a time of poverty and war. I haven't really watched any videos or gameplays of this because I didn't really want it to spoil it for myself. I did see that the game is going to be a hand-drawn point-and-click animation game and as you guys know I really enjoy this type of games and I am really looking forward to start this adventure. So without further ado, let's just jump into it and see what this has to offer. Okay, let's go. Start book, start new game, your unsafe progress will be lost. Well, we have no unsafe progress because we haven't played the game at all. Uh, do you want to play the tutorial? Yes, please. Let's do it. Walk by left clicking where you want to go. Oh my god, this looks so good. Move your cursor around the room. When it changes, click the right mouse button. Aha! Uh -huh. This button. Masterfully crafted. And we click the... Strange when your children surpass you. <laughs> okay, I think I got the... Uh, you can either press the space or the middle mouse button. Oh, to uh, show hidden stuff. Okay, on the map, I got it. Move your cursor around the room. When it changes, left click to interact. Okay, let's interact. Those were Tom's tools. He wanted me to have them. Best tools I ever had. Okay. Oh, okay. And you right click to pick him up, or you left click to pick him up, actually. Uh, take. Hmm. I love this intro here, it's really good. Uh, oh, you click and drag stuff from your, your inventory, I guess, right? Or actually, no, you just click on it, select it, and select the gargoyle here. Oh my god, I love the animation, though, I gotta say. So good. They're fluid. Uh, we got Sally here. Talk to Sally. Current location, cathedral. Okay, my daughter. As turban as me. And as turban as her mother. <laughs> Let's have a chat with her then. Left click to choose your answer. Oh, okay, so we're getting choices here. Wave to get your daughter's attention. Cough to get your daughter's attention. Uh, let's go with the first one. <laughs> Love it. If you want to stay silent, wait for the timer to run out. Uh-huh. Or tell the daughter you will return later. Let's ask her to come with us, why not? <laughs> it's so cool, I love this. It looks amazing so far. Although all we're seeing are just some shadows. Uh, when your cursor changes to an arrow, click to explore another area. Double click on an exit to speed things up. Aha, uh -huh, so he's not gonna run faster, he's just gonna skip the animations, I guess. Sharing England. 11.35. Alright. I already love this. This looks absolutely amazing. Oh, this should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore. 
of walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape, but maybe strengthen the town's defenses? Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? The old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. What a crap you wanted and to we burn our staff, to sell it. seriously. <laughs> right, now let's see if this does the trick. Um, oh crap. Do we have to make a fire? Uh, I think this is the mission we have. Make a fire, current location, camp. So we got a flint and a rock or something, I guess, right? Or a flint and a metal thingy. Uh, this is the options. Map, not available. Documents, we have nothing. Okay, uh, let's Holy check hope, I'm this freezing. up then. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, should be dry enough. I told you. Um... All I need is a few good sparks. Okay, let's try then. Let's see if this works. Nice. I don't think this is uh, that easy to make a fire. We don't Master, have more kindle in there. I mean, we do have the wood, turnips. but we'll be making soup. I guess we mm, needed more stuff. If it helps, Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No, it'll be proper water for my family. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters. Something that stands for eternity. Or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time? Or would you keep on looking? Hmm. I know I could do much more. I'd be glad to stay. Let's go with I'd be glad to stay. Whatever. I'd be glad to stay. Would you now? Just promise me you'll think about it. Uh-huh. I need to find some proper water. Uh, or take. Is this a bowl we're taking here, or... I guess, right? A clue. Just collect a clue. Clues work like items. Use them on character to talk about them. And use them on objects Maybe to ponder how the clue Alfred, and other objects might be connected. Don't listen to me. Huh. Interesting. Oh! So the clues are here. I need to find some proper water. Can I put this on my character? What the crap? Um... Okay, never mind. Uh, let's grab the staff. Can you see the sun yet? <laughs> oh, he's looking through it. No, but Martha. Don't distract me. I'm working. What are you working at? <laughs> uh, Tom's Numan. Inspect, inspect oh, later. Stupid inspect. snow. Tom received this mason's tool as a farewell gift in Exeter. He uses it to lay the groundwork for the new buildings. Its shadow can tell time and point out the east. Ah, okay. The direction a church must always face. Exeter was Tom's first time working on a cathedral, and initially it was like any other job. His master builder often scolded him for not working up to standards. But soon Tom began to understand the importance of proportion, the symbolism of numbers, and the almost magical formulas for, for solid structures. The staff reminds him of his dream to one day build a perfect cathedral from the ground up. Love it. Okay. Um. Should never have left. Here, take it. Well, we're here now. It's the first tool one will if need to no build a new complaint. church. I guess we're gonna need to build a new church. Metal pot. Can you grab it? Yeah, we got it. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, take. Do -do -do. Fire. Alfred, can we use this on the staff? 
hungry. It's just a staff, not a divining one. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, let's carry on this way, I guess, right? We need to get get some water, but where to? Into the forest. Oh, okay, we're going deep into the forest here. Man, I love the look of the game. This looks amazing. I gotta say, every time I'm playing a the Delic Entertainment game, I am always astonished by the artwork. This is so beautiful. Uh, what do we have here? We got a crow. Pesky beasts. I hope they stay away from the camp. Can we shoot it? Shoo! Oh, there we go. Huh. Oh, we got a frozen puddle here. Hmm. Uh, too hard for my fist, but my pot should break oh, it. Oh, okay. Uh, let's use the pot then. Houses and sheds. <laughs> Walls and roofs. I'd be glad. I should be glad. Tom's a builder. He misses building stuff, I guess. Look at him. <laughs> that should do. Oh, I uh, guess we got some uh, ice, right? Boiled water. Okay, let's go back then. Let's uh, put the water on the fire so that it boils and gets ready here. Doo -doo -doo. I'm coming, family. Okay, let's grab this and put on the water before the fire runs out. Man, this looks amazing. Um, did you think about what I asked you? I might never build a cathedral. I will take a job. Yeah, let's go with this. Dreaming of building a cathedral was foolish. When we get to Shiring, I'll take the job. Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Uh, start with the walls. Start with the roof. Of course with the walls. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> Okay, I love the, uh, the storyline here. At the moment, it's so interesting. It is a bit uh, sad what's happening here. I guess they are poor. They don't have a place to stay at the moment. Um, yeah, let's just uh, tell our story here. Let's make the girl feel better. Put in windows, build a porticus. Let's put in some windows so that we can let some light so in. Of course, you may want some light coming in. Windows. Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. Um, I think you forgot something. People can't get in if there are only walls. No, so we need some doors. Or yeah, let's uh, let her guess. Let's let's let her tell us So, what do you suggest? What it needs. Doors, of course. There we go. Right. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one. To let in as many people as possible. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that and have so many windows. So, what do we do? Good and solid work. 
That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry, it will give them hope, it will teach them all. Oh, let's go with this. It will give them hope. Oh crap. No way, is she freaking giving birth right now? Holy crap, no way. The baby is coming. Holy crap, what do we do? Have your water's broken yet? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. Well, look at all the blood. <laughs> oh crap, what do we do? Uh, help Agnes. Okay, I'm trying to. Uh, let's see. Tell her a story. What can I do to help? Hold her. Uh, let's go with this. Right, what can I do to help? Cover me. W will she die? She'll die, right? Dude, shut the heck up! What's wrong with you? Mama! <laughs> uh, tell her a story, what else can I do? Hold her... Hold her. Yeah, she's cold, I guess. Oh, oh crap. Your hands are cold. I'll warm them for you. No. Stay here. Please. Alright, alright. Uh, what else can I do? Tell her a story. Hold her with cold hands. No, no, no. Look around. To do the bag in scoring location cam. This is all my fault. She trusted me to provide for her, and now she has to give birth in a forest in winter. Um, let's talk to the children here. Children? Okay, Martha, Alfred, Alfred, Alfred. Uh, build a bigger fire. Get some warm water. Get some warm water. Get more water. Take snow if you must to make it warm. Right. Right, right, right. Hurry up. What can I do? Uh, build a big fire. We're going to need some rest soon. I need you to remain steadfast. Um. Yeah, let's go with this. Show your strength and remain steadfast. <laughs> I, I will. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have anything in the inventory to cover her with anything, so... Let's see, what else can I do? Look around, tell her a story. Yeah, let's tell her a story. Remember when Martha was born, and the Lady Isabella acted as midwife? You were building a chapel, and you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. Yeah, and she said, that drunken old witch will let her deliver a literal wolfhound pups. <laughs> And she took us to her own chamber, and poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. Oh, uh, tell a story. Yeah, let's carry on here. There's not much we can do. Uh, for a year as bad as this one, we've managed quite well. You lost your work, and then Martha almost got killed by that pig thief. You call that well? Oh no. But we're still here for each other, aren't we? Holding together as a family. Us builders aren't carved out of measly wood. Never were. You expect a lump of granite to come falling from my legs? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> the water's warm now. Put it next to me. Uh-huh. We got some water here. Okay. Um... Doo -doo -doo. What else can I do? Look around. Can we get the water here? Ah, oh, we're hitting our, our our hands. Okay, okay. Uh, hold her. 
Okay, so our hands are not cold anymore. I'm here with you. I know. It's not long now. Be ready. Uh, what else can I do? Look around. Let's look around here. Let's see. What can we ask the children to do? Uh, Martha, Alfred, calm, calm down, you two. Turn back to Agnes. Martha. Martha. Build a bigger fire. We're going to need some rest soon. Build a bigger fire. Go and collect more wood. Let's have a bigger fire. Let me do it. I'm quicker than her. No, let me do it. Let Alfred fetch wood. Alfred is faster. He has to do it. But I want to help too. <laughs> I know you want to help, but uh, we're going to need some rest soon. Collect some reeds and make me two lengths of string, each big enough for a necklace. What for? You'll see. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. It's coming. Oh crap! Help me, Tom. <laughs> it's coming. I can see it. It looks horrible. He's perfect. A perfect boy. Hmm. You're still bleeding. It's all right. It will stop soon. Tom. Yes? Thank you for being my midwife. Do you remember the night I came to you, in your lodge, when you were working on my father's church? Of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. I hope you build your cathedral. I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. Build a beautiful cathedral. For me. Oh crap, you should die, Ink. It does look... Oh no. Papa. What's wrong with her face? Agnes! Oh my god, this is Agnes, so sad. Up. What? Holy crap, this is such a sad story. Such a sad intro here. Damn. Oh god, this is gonna be a really amazing game. I really love the introduction to the game here. I know the story was quite sad and I have a feeling that we will see quite a lot of these sad stories as the game develops, as the story develops. But um, I guess that's how the world was back then. That's what happens when the world gets ravaged by war and poverty sets in. I love the introduction. This looks like a uh, freaking movie series, like a movie series. Camp Follett, the pillars of the earth. All right.
The Pillars of the Earth from the Ashes Prologue. What you did. You want your cathedral to bring hope. You told Agnes you could accept any job offered by the bishop. You struggled to support Agnes during childbirth. You found information about, about Tom's past. Huh. Alright, so let's carry on. So I guess uh, the game is a, a choice-driven game. Book 1, From the Ashes. Chapter 1. Philip. The year of our Lord, 1135, had come to an end. King Henry of England, son of William the Conqueror, had died. It was a time of poverty and death. In their despair, some had come to believe Christ and all his saints had gone to sleep. And that the pillars of the earth themselves had begun to crumble. Cambridge. Uh, stroke pony. Brother Paul. Let's stroke the pony. There we go. Is there no one to welcome us? Who goes there? You just crossed the bridge, right? That'll be a farthing for you and a penny for your horse. Wait, what? <laughs> Is this the troll under the bridge? <laughs> uh, reprimand severely inform about mistake. Let's go with this. Monks and villagers don't have to pay a toll. Ah, sorry, I'm not good at this. I told Brother Paul. It's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. What? Offer cheese. Threaten to tell Prior. Let's offer some cheese. If we have some, right? It is not much, but I can share this with you. Cloth still smells a bit of cheese that was wrapped in it. Uh, yeah, take it back. I hope now it will be easier for you to fulfill your duties. Oh, I'm sure it will. Hmm, okay, I. Will you take care of my yes, horse? Yes, we can brother. continue our journey now. I've come to see Prior James. Prior James? That's him the bells are tolling for. Leave the horse here. I'll get it down to the priory later. Fish should go nicely with that cheese. <laughs> what? Why are they ringing the bells? Don't you know? The devil has come to Kingsbridge. Wait, what? What devil? The devil has come to Kingsbridge? Philip's Bible. Are we going to be playing as this priest? You can use P Philip's Bible on objects to find out what the Bible tells Philip about them, or use it on people to discuss matters of faith. Okay, except... Uh, oh, it added it on the left side here. The Word of God. Alright, let's see. She's getting old. Was in St. John even before me. Hopefully many travelers to get ahead of us. Can we access it? Oh, we're just gonna pet it some more. Alright, never mind then. Let's uh, go to Kingsbridge. Man, this looks amazing. I love the art style. Uh, so we are over there. Village. So we can go in the village or we can go straight to the monastery. Uh, let's go straight to the monastery, why not? Let's see. Uh, are we gonna go in? Far away from Shiring, nobles can only on holidays. Wouldn't come if it wasn't for the cathedral. Well, let's go with the gate then. Ah, there we go. Kingsbridge Priory. Oh, look at this, the tower collapsed. 
A disgraced rumble should be removed. For years, since lightning struck, morals collapsed as well. Alright, let's try to go inside then. There seems to be a horse here on the left huh. side. Why did they lock it? Maybe the side entrance is open. Huh. Um, looks like strong mare must belong to a guest. Alright, path around the cathedral. Door to the closer. Uh, let's go around. Yeah, maybe we're going to find the door in the back that we can access. Uh, there's a cemetery here. So many buried here. Awaiting judgment day. Uh, okay, where's the door? Oh! Who's that? Should we go inside? There you go. Ah, okay, so here's uh, the other priests. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the pestilence that walketh in darkness, the pestilence that rode in on the lightning that struck our cathedral four years ago. Did you not all feel its presence here ever since? James did. And I did as well. But the Lord says, Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Our beloved Prior James has served the Lord all his life. He shall be delivered from the darkness, from this dark earth. Prior James? Philip. Francis? Shh. For many years, James has been our prior. After the upcoming election, I vow to lead Kingsbridge Priory with the same steady hand. Amen. What's happening here? I guess the priest we wanted to visit died or something happened. Philip, we told your brother you'd come to Kingsbridge New Year's Day. I did not expect to see you here. I was on my way back to Gloucester and wanted to see you. A priest working in the world of politics. You must tell us about it, Francis. Of course. And his brother a prior of what now? Two years? It's been four years, Cuthbert. <laughs> I see. How are things in St. John of the Forest, Philip? Uh, we are happy and healthy, better than in Kingsbridge. Let's go with this. Our little cell is happy and healthy. Happy and healthy? Thanks to your brother, Francis, St. John in the Forest is prospering. His novices are obedient, his monks humble and pious. Well, our own priory is in such a sorry state. You know James did the best he could. It was not his fault. Also, they make a remarkable cheese in St. John's. <laughs> Come by the kitchen later to see us, will you? All right. Brother Cuthbert seemed upset. Well, we all are. The way James died was disturbing. Ah, oh, so James did die. Ask about devil. How did James die? Yeah, let's go with this. Disturbing? How did prior James die? Seven days ago, Brother Remedius found James's room empty. We all looked hmm. for him for hours. Then we found his footprints by the bridge and a, a hole in the ice. Oh, he fell in the freaking ice and drowned. Oh, no. no. In the small hours of Christmas Day, he must have walked out on the river. 
Huh. We didn't even find his body. The river took him. And the cold. I will pray for James. See me when you have time, Philip. I will be in the cathedral. Or maybe that's a setup? And I should go and that's see what Brother Cuthbert is doing. It's good to see you, Philip. Maybe things will get better after the chapter elects the new prior. Hopefully. I will come by the kitchen later, Milius. Are we going to have to play as a detective here? And find out what happened to Philip? <laughs> I don't know. What is Francois doing here? And where is he? Uh, take. Hmm. So what do you think it means? I don't know. What is this? Interesting. There is no reason to punish us for asking. Can we have a chat with the young monks here? At least it wasn't Remedius who punished us. Oh, it seems we can. Okay. Uh, we prime for talking loudly. Talk to Novice. You look like you want to ask me something. <laughs> you are Philip of Gwyneth? Uh, yes, uh, but you can call me Brother Philip. You see? Told you he wouldn't mind. Yes. Now ask him. How about you ask him? What the crap? I already asked Brother Agreed Andrew. to answer question. That Agreed, but count. ask them to be quieter. Answer. Of course it counts. Come on, ask me. What do you want? What is it? Brother Milius told us you know the scripture very well. Could you tell us about God's temple? Brother Andrew wouldn't tell us. Must be a place. I don't want to tell you each of us. Well, that's probably what the guest master was talking about. If you do something to a cathedral, it would be a sin. Let's go with this, yes. yeah. Each of us is God's temple in the way that he created us. And what, what if someone does something to God's temple? The scripture says, if anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. Even if he destroys his own temple of God? So for prior James, there's no salvation as well? Hmm. It was not a suicide. There is no salvation for a self-murderer. Uh, I have a feeling we're gonna have to do some detective work here and find out who killed Brother James. Hmm. For a self-murderer, there is no salvation. What if the devil takes our souls too? Commit yourselves to God. Be humble and pious. Be without sin. God's grace will not allow the devil to lay hand on any of you. Prior James will face judgment. It is between him and God. Do not be afraid. No, Brother Philip. Thank you, Brother Philip. I think we lifted their spirits. We made them feel better. Okay, uh, can we use this and use it on so, uh, them? Again, Let's see. God's Have you seen my brother, Francis? The priest working for Robert of Gloucester? He's your brother? Your family? Yes, he is. Oh, he, he went into the cathedral, I believe. He did. I, I saw him. Thank you. You are very helpful. Hmm. Okay, I kind of like this. This is really cool. Also, I, f I see that they show oh, us uh, where we are at in the game, with the because... progress of the game. Um, because God created yeah, this is really interesting. Image. I'm not sure if this is a uh, detective game That's or not. Right, no it does appear like it is. We may need to find out we what happened to, to uh, the other brother, the brother James, if he was murdered or not. Yeah. But um, anyway, this is our time for now. I hope you guys do enjoy this. I really do find this quite interesting. And I gotta say, I love the artwork and the art direction here. And I'm really looking forward to see where this adventure takes us to. Okay, as usual guys, thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying it, do not forget to leave a like down below. As that will let me know that you want to see more of this. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!